I now give the floor to Mr. Mankarandai. The floor is yours. Merci bien, Monsieur le Président. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Distinguished uh, President of the Security Council, ladies, gentlemen, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Central African Republic, I would like to thank you for giving me the opportunity of reporting on recent major developments in the Central African Republic during the constitutional when the Constitutional Court uh, published the, the definite results of the presidential elections in December, validating the re-election of the outgoing president, as you are already aware. The situation is tense on the ground, and the waves of violence that preceded the election continue. There is a new coalition, the Coalition of Patriots for Change, or CPC. Their actions with some uh, political leaders, particularly the former uh, president, uh, have now been established. When the uh, uh, de definite list uh, of uh, candidates and uh, the Candidature of former President uh, Bouzizé led to the mobilization of 14 uh, of the armed groups, which are the signatories, which uh, came together with the CPC and other uh, in order to impede the holding of the elections, a clearly avowed uh, purpose. The violence caused in the regions by the three armed groups and certain factions of the RPC and the anti balaka against uh, civil civilian authorities, the public uh, 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 order forces and MINUSCA have uh, tested the ability of the mission to ensure the protection of the civilian population in a tense political context, which has been exacerbated by divisions uh, between uh, ethnic groups. Dear members of the Council, I thank you for the support which made it possible to rapidly deploy troops of the integrated mission from South Sudan in the framework of intermission cooperation. Not only was the capacity of the mission boosted, but also the morale of the personnel who are working in particularly difficult uh, conditions, above all because of COVID-19, was boosted. And I am particularly grateful for this. Nevertheless, uh, the re-election of uh, President uh, Tuadera is going to benefit the CAR only if the executive is able to pacify uh, the hearts and minds of the people by working with the opposition and ensuring that everybody is represented. The most radical uh, elements uh, are being replaced by those involved uh, in uh, political action in the CAR. Those who did not uh, c uh, commit uh, particularly grave crimes uh, could be exonerated in order to continue working uh, for the coalition to be formed uh, um, without hampering the search for justice and the fight against impunity. The link between justice and peace uh, is at the very heart of every uh, action to be taken. The Commission for Peace and Reconciliation will probably offer a new opportunity to reaffirm uh, the will to continue seeking agreements and to revitalize the mechanism for implementation, which uh, will only reach its full potential thanks to the full support of all stakeholders. Mr. President, allow me to draw your attention to the current security uh, situation of the national parties that we support. The elements of uh, peace and security only uh, 
benefited some of uh, uh, the formation of some armed groups, uh, uh, which seem to be ever more aggressive on the ground. Logistics and material, in order to implement uh, their mi uh, the mission of uh, the uh, uh, on the ground, uh, is needed. The situation is aggravated by a weak chain of command. The lack of sanctions uh, affecting the operationality of many of the necessary forces. The violations of human rights continue despite the efforts made until now to reform the security sector. There is need for more coordinated support and access for the international community to build institutions and a lasting governance in the security sector, including in uh, the area of disarmament uh, and uh, munitions. Safe borders must be established, without which the state will not be able to uh, defend itself or to recover as quickly from the traumatic uh, past. The uh, developments in the security situation, the reliability of some elements of uh, the defense uh, and interior forces mean that the CPC will be able to renew its attacks wherever it wishes to affect the stability of uh, Central African democratic institutions. The current capacity of the mission will be tested even more at a time when more than ever it must protect civilians and ensure the delivery of humanitarian assistance, which is severely impacted by acts of violence by the CPC. To this end, we need a strategy to manage the mandate. A substantial increase of troops, uh, uniform troops in the mission, uh, the Police uh, and uh, the penal administration must be strengthened in order to give us greater mobility in this regard because of the increased violence and uh, the use of ambushes by the CPC fighters has led to seven deaths amongst the Blue Helmets. Intermission cooperation will need to be prolonged for several months and and work to deploy as many people as possible from the integrated mission in South Sudan in the framework of intermission cooperation. Armed groups belonging to the CPC uh, willingly attack at any display of state power, whether they be officials or members of the security forces. Furthermore, recent losses in the ranks uh, of uh, the Blue Helmets in uh, Kimali and Bandasu show the will to of the CPC to attack Minusca. For more than one month, the security forces have been withdrawn from some areas, and there is absolutely no state representation in them. If our requests are not heard, uh, the response of the mission, and most uh, particularly that of the force, is going to be to do whatever it can. But uh, troops are currently deployed over extremely large areas, and as a result, the force only has a limited response uh, ability, and we cannot uh, cover the entire territory because of the size of the country. This uh, critical capacity, drones, attack uh, helicopters, and the ability to bolster special forces are missing, and this affects uh, our capacity for action and for rapid reaction. We need an increase in our capacity in order to respond to this new threat, which is destabilizing the country even further. The fourth generation capacity was built uh, in order to ensure a lasting resolution to the conflict. Although it's uh, 
seems uh, an important uh, first look. Uh, it makes it possible to have a robust response to the threats. And uh, we therefore need to raise the platform of blue helmets authorized by the Council. We can return in a closed session, Mr. President, if you wish to have further details. When it comes to the attack on the periphery of Bangui on the 3rd of January, as well as other uh, attacks, the police component of MINUSCA raised its potential as high as possible to support military operations and the civilian response. The UPO, uh, UNIPOL component uh, were able to robustly act to protect civilians and also to ensure the policing and uh, judiciary judicial aspect of its mandate. Support uh, to the ICC and other jurisdictions in order to bring uh, the perpetrators of uh, grave crimes to justice is also needed. Yun Paul's uh, capacity is often overwhelmed. The only way of improving the performance is uh, to bolster the forces and to give it as much priority as possible. We continue to work uh, with specialists uh, in tasks uh, as well as individual police officers and formed uh, police units in order to respond to our responsibilities across uh, the country. Uh, the detention of uh, alleged uh, combatants is a severe tr uh, trial for us. We need to speed up procedures against detainees. We need to find a response to the overcrowding of prisons, which uh, is created because of, uh, of prolonged uh, detentions. A real need is to train uh, prison officials, and uh, the CAR needs a response to this. Mr. President, I take advantage of this opportunity uh, uh, to report on the uh, logistical support. We only have limited logistical support with uh, the formed uh, Central African uh, units, uh, uh, Army units which is undertaking joint operations with the MINUSCA is limited. This includes joint uh, logistical and tactical planning in order to perform the tasks with which MINUSCA is currently mandated, including the protection of civilians and assisting national authorities to establish and maintain security and the rule of law. We call uh, for the Council to provide us with the capacity to give appropriate support to the Central African Security Forces to ensure the protection of civilians, the restoration and the maintenance of uh, public security and the rule of law, and lasting governance uh, mechanisms of command and control as well as to secure the borders of the CAR. Um, regional context marked by the multiplication and the sophistication of transboundary uh, organized crime is uh, being seen to combat criminal networks and their tra trans uh, border op uh, organizations involved in crime, as well as the illicit exploitation of natural resources. We need to revitalize the bilateral commission. Uh, OP 57 of, re of the relevant resolution, as well as adopting innovative uh, transborder security arrangements, such as the international conference, uh, those provisions uh, adopted at the international conference on the Great Lakes region, and to monitor the borders, which could be supported by MINUSCA. This is all the more important since uh, neighboring countries are facilitators of the peace process. Increased support to the Commission, uh, the National Commission against uh, the proliferation of s uh, small arms and light weapons could help to ensure responsible use by 
the government of arms and ammunition and to limit the circulation of weapons within the country. When it comes to budget, supporting the restoration of state authority in the mining sector through the revitalization of the institutional and legal uh, framework uh, surrounding uh, the mining sector would be an ideal tool for an economic uh, restart. Continuing exploitation of mining resources would reinforce uh, the capacity of the government. And to do so, we need to restore state authority. And this would make it possible to reduce the threat of armed groups on the one hand, and for the state to reappropriate uh, these resources, a form of wealth uh, which would have a positive effect on the level of country, uh, poverty in the CAR. We need more resources to support uh, the security forces assigned to this task. The international community, the United Nations, and international partners and uh, regional countries uh, should support governance and the reconstruction of the country's assets. The CAR risks a fallback in security and peace building. They can, uh, th we are uh, contributing to this patiently by building. The Central African Republic has demonstrated through the brave behavior of its troops uh, that they are no longer willing to tolerate uh, violations of human rights. Uh, Citizens went to vote at the risk of their own physical integrity, moving beyond old conflicts, which armed groups are trying to use to keep this country in that situation. The citizens of the TR went out to vote where they could, where the army didn't prevent them from doing so. And the resilience that was demonstrated by the people encourages the mission and the entire international community to continue to support them on the path of reconciliation, reconstruction, dialogue and inclusion, as stipulated in the political agreement for peace and reconciliation. This is certainly a difficult path but it is certainly one that can bring the country towards lasting peace. I therefore call upon the country to examine the most appropriate measures to guarantee that MINUSCA can adapt to the new security situation. And I thank you very much for your attention. I thank the SRS chief for his